on his boat, Neil Patrick believes he's hooked a world record. He's already put in hours keeping the fighting, leaping marlin on his line. And it did several jumps where it cleared the water completely, about two or three feet out of the water. And this fish is 15 feet long, so it was an impressive sight. Neil makes a momentous decision. Instead of landing the marlin for the record, he wants Guy Harvey to tag it. Every angler aspires to catching an IGFA world record at some point in their life. For Neil to have given up the chance of, of possibly getting the 50 pound test black marlin world record was, was, a, was a big thing to give up. Guy and Bill Shedd pull up alongside Neil Patrick's boat. Guy faces a huge challenge. Beneath the waters, the fighting fish is getting dangerously tired. To tag him safely, Guy has to get the marlin to the boat fast. When they start jumping, they expend a great deal of energy in a short time, and they get tired very quickly. And often when they're released, they, they can't swim away in their normal speed, and so they become susceptible to predation, primarily by large sharks. Guy hatches a daring plan. To bring the marlin in fast as possible, he'll hook it to an additional fishing line. No fisherman's ever done this before. With two lines attached, the team can reel it twice as fast, tagging it quickly and successfully releasing it. Guy hopes it'll work, but to do it, he's got to meet this monster fish face to face. And he says, well, we can't uh, bring Mohammed to the mountain. We'll take the mountain to Mohammed here. He said, look, I'll swim down and attach a second line. And I thought, well, that ain't gonna happen, but you're Guy Harvey, so let's try. Guy hits the water. He's an accomplished swimmer, but he's no match for a marlin, fish that can easily reach speeds over 40 miles an hour. And most human beings can't swim at that speed, let alone wearing diving gear. Swimming down with a line in your hand, 40 feet under the water, trying to catch up to this marlin that's more than 1,200 pounds, that's not an easy thing to do. In fact, that's never gonna happen again in the history of fishing. Guy makes repeated attempts. The effort is exhausting and risky. Every time I get close to it, previously, she would kick away. Again, all of that is cause for concern because it's sudden movements like that that will cause the line to break if the drag is too high. He goes for a final try. After fighting for hours, the tired fish is slowing down. At last, 40 feet underwater, Guy approaches the biggest marlin he's ever seen. Just to be in the company of an animal like that is, was exhilarating. Working carefully, Guy attaches the second fishing line by hooking it to a metal clasp connected to Neil Patrick's existing line. The effect, two fishing poles leading to one fish. And I'm thinking, it's gonna get tight here real quick. And then it did, and the fish just took off ripping and just uh, all hell broke loose. Marlin will fight to the death. The team has no time to lose. Working hard, they reel the immense Marlin close to the boat to tag it. <laughs> Successful tagging takes precision and focus. Any delay could cost the fish's life. The fish is pretty tired, and in fact, he rolled her over, which is a sign of, of defeat for the fish, and not a good sign for us, because black marlin, typically, when they roll like that, they're, they're gonna die within the next two or three minutes, so we had to act very quickly. Down. At last, after fighting a possible world record marlin underwater and above for nearly four and a half hours, the seven-man super team pulls off the impossible. The fish is tagged. Good job, cut it! We get it! Yes, Neil! Yeah, Neil! The giant swims back into the deep, alive. The tagging makes news around the world. Experts estimate the 13-foot fish weighs as much as 1,200 pounds. It's the largest marlin ever electronically tagged. Knowing all that uh, Guy went through, all that Neil went through, it was really a cool feeling to be a part of it. And I think it was just, uh, um, just I think I shouted, you know, Neil, boy, awesome. Neil!